The other problem we also have, I get a lot of calls about, is that people complain that there's drafts coming on the door and they're rattling. So when we look at this door here, and you can see there's excessive movement in that when the door is closed. It operates okay, it locks okay, but when you actually close it, there is still definitely a bit of movement. The reason for that latch would need adjusted. So if you come in here, I can show you where the latch is. Okay, so this is the latch section. And as you can see here, there's two screws, one above and below it. That would, if we undo them, it'll allow the latch to move backwards and forwards. So if the door is rattling, it means the latch is sitting too far out. So what we want to do is just undo it slightly, like so. Never take the screws out because they're really hard to get back in. And you can see the latch can move no water. So we just move it in a wee bit from where it was. Tighten them up. And then we'll try closing the door and we can just do, keep doing that adjustment until the door closes and doesn't move again. So we'll give it a close down and see if it works now. No rattle at all. So that's it. The latch all tightened up, so everything's in line now, so it should actually make a big difference to the draft. If you're still getting a draft, probably fill it up the door. There's one other thing we can check. If you look at most doors, eh, they vary slightly and the sizes are slightly different, but they've usually got a cam on them just here, and usually one in the bottom. Some doors have got three cams, some have got four. But this cam here, it's and a four mil Allen key goes in the centre of it. It's actually off centre, so as you turn it, it'll actually go more to the back and more to the front of the door. So if your door is wobbling at the top, even though the lock and everything's connected, we just may need to tighten that up. It could be a wee bow in the frame or a wee bow in the door, but that would help adjust it. I'll just show you that with my Allen key. So this time it's a 4mm Allen key, and there is a wee line in them, there's a wee cut all is in them, so that lets you know what direction you've got it going in. So if I move it that way, you can see the cam moving back to front. Now you can spin these any way you want. It's just the, the matter of playing with it to get your door to pull in tight as I do. So when you close your door, you want it to be really tight here where the cam connects. And when the handle is up, it's still to be very tight. You, if you tighten it too much, your handle won't move. So all you just do is reverse it and just slacken it off a wee bit.